after having loaded the file into our system, uh, the next step is to load the build platform into the build chamber. So this is what we are showing in this video. As you can see, one of the operators is using the electrical forklift uh, in order to lift uh, the build plate up. Uh, so the weight of the platform is roughly around 100 kilograms. So you shouldn't try and lift it uh, with your own hands. Always use a forklift for that. Uh, so we lift it up and uh, before placing it into the build chamber, we should use um, IPA alcohol uh, of 95% uh, uh, to remove any uh, residue dust that may have been left uh, on the platform after transportation uh, and we place it inside. Um, so normally you would receive uh, five uh, build plates uh, with the printer. Um, they are of a different thickness and the reason for that is the following. So when you're printing larger models, uh, you shall use um, thicker plates uh, as part of your build. Uh, so this is due to the fact that there is um, internal stress accumulating in the model and uh, the larger uh, build plates are more suited uh, for making sure that the model doesn't get deformed. As the next step, we're using bolts in order to fixate the build plate to the substrate. Uh, the substrate is a build platform uh, just below the build plate. Uh, this is the platform that allows us to calibrate the build plate uh, on the Z axis. And uh, while we are uh, doing this, it's very important to be careful um, not to cause any mechanical damage uh, to the optics um, inside the machine. Um, because uh, if we do uh, damage any of the glasses uh, inside the machine, or worst case scenario, that damage the laser itself. Um, this would be a very uh, costly and time consuming process uh, to repair those. Uh, in general, there shouldn't be any problems, uh, but please make sure to be careful when doing this. Now we would like to point out that the platform is lifted above the zero level, uh, the, the, the ground level of the build chamber. Um, so now we are going to calibrate the build platform on its Z height and uh, make sure that it's on the same level as the rest of the build chamber. So now you can see the platform going down and the using, uh, uh, using a purple plastic card as our guide, uh, we are checking that uh, on each side of the build plate, uh, the platform is level relative to the rest of the build chamber. Uh, so the procedure here is that we are placing uh, the card in between the build plate and the build chamber and uh, making sure that there is no uh, light in between those gaps. So after having checked with the purple card uh, that there is no light uh, or nature of the size of the build plate uh, between the build plate and the, well, let's call it the, the ground level of the build chamber, uh, we can uh, set uh, this point as, as zero point uh, on the z-axis. And then we set the distance uh, that, the, uh, that the build platform is traveling on the z-axis um of every uh, step that we're giving so we've set the step at 500 microns on the z-axis at the moment and then we move the platform by 500 microns by clicking uh, the arrow on the right hand side uh, which lifts the platform up by 500 microns so at this stage, uh, the platform, uh, the, the leveling of the build plate has been finished. 
Um, so we've uh, calibrated uh, the zero level of the build plate relative to the rest of the build chamber. And now we've lifted it up uh, by 500 microns because this is where the laser uh, is doing its job. So at the moment, uh, with the 500 um, microns distance on the Z-height, we can see that there are gaps and uh, there is light in between the paper card. And uh, in order to make sure that the printing process is completed successfully, what we're going to do is we're going to fill those gaps uh, between the build plate and the rest of the build chamber. Uh, we will fill them in this powder. So the reason for that is that uh, during the printing process, uh, the platform uh, will be gradually going down as we are completing the print. Um, but uh, since there are gaps uh, during this uh, listing process, what may happen is that some powder that is meant to stay in the build plate uh, will fall down into those gaps. So to prevent this from happening and make sure that the powder uh, that was spread out on the build plate is spread out as evenly as possible and uh, there are no gaps on the build plate, uh, we will uh, fill in those gaps uh, with some metal powder. So now you can see the powder has uh, filled in all the gaps within the build plate and the rest of the build chamber. And now we are moving on to the next step, which is the calibration of the recorder arm. So what the recording arm does is uh, it spreads out the powder um, that, is, that is pushed out by the system onto the build plate. And we need to make sure that the first layer is as thin as possible. So in this particular case, uh, what happened is that uh, we've tightened uh, the recording arm uh, during the assembly uh, too tight. So we're going to release uh, the springs on the left hand side and on the right hand side uh, to make sure that there is uh, more space between the recording arm and the build plate. Uh, so the problem is that is uh, the problem with what you've done during the assembly is that uh, we want uh, the first layer to be as thin as possible. Usually that is uh, 40 microns. And uh, to achieve that, we need to tighten uh, the recording arm and uh, shorten the distance between the recording arm and uh, the build plate uh, uh, quite a lot. But we've tightened it too much. So on the first uh, uh, move that we've just tested, uh, we saw that all the powder that was remaining on the build plate uh, was removed. So it's too tight and the distance is too short. So now we're releasing the springs in order to add more distance uh, between the recording arm and uh, the build plate. After having moved the recording blade back and forth, uh, we now see that the layer looks just as we expect it to be. It's very thin and it's very even. Uh, so now we're going to fix the screw uh, to make sure that this position is fixated.